Hi, digital marketers. This is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I will show you how to set up Google Ads offline conversion tracking. So that will be the one time setup, and you no need to use the another CRM to connect your data. So, no more delay. Let's get started. How can we set up Google Ads offline conversion tracking without CRM like Zapier, HubSpot, and others? That is our lead form, and we have to use this lead form for Google Ads offline conversion tracking. So go to our Google Ads platform. You can see that I am landing on the Google Ads platform and then you can go to the goals and create conversion action to create the offline conversion. So click on it. So for the offline conversion tracking, we know that we have to import a spreadsheet or data sheet, whatever you can say. So I am clicking the import and you can see that offline lead conversion. That is the option you have to select. So select what do you want to import. We want to import CRS files or other data source. So click on it and then track conversion from clicks. And in the data source option, you have to skip this step at set up a data source later because we have to add in the data source later after completing the setup. So I have to click the second option and that is no need to turn on events conversion for lead because we are manually sending the all information and then continue. And now we are find out the conversion goal. You have to select according to your business goal or need. So I am selecting the first one, qualified leads. You can also pick the listed any kind of conversion goal. So I am Pick the first one and now I am giving the name of a conversion name. So I am just adding offline conversion and add it. Now I am go to the save and continue. But if you need any settings option, then you can go to on it and you have to change your conversion parameters. So I am just adding that it will be the 10 and I also count the every conversion and as usual, I have to. So then I am go to done. So click on it. I am settings my offline conversion. Now save and continue. And finally done. And in the offline conversion settings, you can see that qualified lead and you have, we have to find out the offline conversion. Now I have to upload my data on offline conversion goal so in the left hand side you can see that upload so click on it uploads and click the plus sign to uploads and you can also this option on the offline conversion setup import if you click on it you can see that your data source and by using this crm you are also able to set up your offline conversions and adding your you can also manually upload a file from conversion and click on it also you have to find out the option to upload your data in your offline conversion goal in google ads so i have to find out two options to upload my data in google ads offline conversion so i am again back into my upload so click again uploads and plus sign and here is the option you have to upload the, your data. Select the source from which source you have to add in your data on Google Ads offline conversion. So upload a file, Google Sheet, HTTPS, SFTF. So first two option is uh, you can easily adding your data, but, but for the HTTPS, SFTF. Uh, you have to need a developer to adding the data on your offline Google Ads conversion. So firstly, I am using the Google Sheet to adding the data. So click on it. I want to see that my template, which template are accepting the Google Ads for adding the data. So view template, go to the Google Sheet to see the template, make a copy. Here we go. You can see that our template, which type of data accepting the Google Ads offline conversion tracking. 
you can see that uh, that first one uh, time zone and then you can see that google click id that is the G gcl id second one is conversion name conversion time conversion value conversion currency and add user data and add personalization so we have to one by one we have to see that how can we adding our all data auto dynamically by using the google tag manager so first one is google click id that means if anyone submit the lead form the data will be automatically transferred to the google click id because manually we do not fill up the each and every data in the google sheet so now back to our google tag manager and go to the tags and i presume that you already know that how can you connect your website with google tag manager and how to set up tag triggers variable if you do not yet you can go to my youtube channel from here you can easily connect your website with google tag manager and also create the tag triggers variable so go to new tag configuration firstly we have to using the custom html tag and paste the code this by using this code we have to collect the gcl id this gcl id are dynamically transferred to our google sheet so now we are triggering so we are adding the all pages and that will be the gcl id and set so now go to preview option we have to find out that our gcl id is perfectly working or not so go to preview we have to add in dummy gcl id because uh, this is not the uh, real so we are adding the dummy gcl id to testing gcl id equal to one two three four five uh, connect you can see that in the url we have to find out the gcl id one two three four five and if i am clicking the right click on mouse and inspect in the applications so now go to local stories and our website here you can see that the gcl id and value will be the one two three four five so that means anybody comes to our website so our by using this tag the gcl id automatically track and that will be the transfer to our google sheet so now back to our google sheet we have to create the new google sheet that's template for the google that is not our so we are creating the new uh, spreadsheet and we have to copy the template so we are just copy the template from here copy it and back to our google sheet and paste on it so we are just resize it so our first one is time zone so we are adding our time zone on it and our google click id that is gcl id already we have to collect automatically now time to conversion name conversion plan and and also the other parameters so for that again we are back to our google tag manager created track to collect the data dynamically from the our lead form to google sheet because this google sheet we have to add in with our offline conversion goal i hope you understand so back to our google tag manager create a new tag tag configuration and also that will be the custom javascript and we have to paste the code by using this code we have to adding one by one each and every data so first one is conversion name so go to our conversion so we close it and back to our conversion goal we are back to again this section to upload the sheet so now we we'll go to our summary section to pick the conversion name so that is our conversion name offline conversion so we are copy the conversion name from here and back to our google tag manager paste the conversion name here that is offline conversion now conversion value our conversion value is uh, 10 conversion currency is usd 
now we have to adding the url so now we back to our offline conversion sheet and back to extension apps script now we have to add in the code and one by one we have to add in the sheet url here so back to our google sheet and copy the url and change the spreadsheet url we have to paste on it so now we have to deploy on it that is new deployment settings now select type settings that will be the web app and the name will be you have to give in the any name that is version one version one and that is our email you have to access the sheet so so select the anyone and deploy and you have to click the authorize access to giving the access and click the your email go to advance and allow and you have to find out the url from here so copy the url back to google tag manager and you have to change the url from here so paste the new url on it and you have to click the tab so back to our google tag manager our now time to add the triggering already we are created the trigger for it our lead form so back to google tag manager and that will be the triggering will be the uh, event lead already we have to create on it so now we are giving the tag name that is offline conversion tracking whatever you can give in the any name now save so now we have to just submit it to preview and we have to change the GCL ID. Go to our contract page to submit the lead. We have to submit it. And that is for the test and submit it. We are go to our tag section. Here you can see that our offline conversion are tag is fire. So if I am go to the uh, offline conversion, you can see that click ID offline conversion and our value and our conversion currency at user data at person all are dynamically are receiving the gold sheet so now we have to test again and see that our data are dynamically receiving google sheet or not so again uh, go to our gold tag manager go to preview and we are changing the gsl id because we are, we are testing the second time so three 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 connect and go to contract to submit the lead form also we are and that is the first and submit it. Go to our offline conversion sheet, reload it. Here you can see that we have to find out the another one. So now time to we have to add in our data with our offline conversion goal in Google Apps. So go to our conversion and now go to uploads, click the plus sign and select the source that will be the google sheet so link an existing google sheet we have to find out link an existing google sheet and that is our offline here you can see that offline conversion which we have to work and insert it and you can see that our offline conversion are adding with our upload section and apply it and you can see that our uploads are completed and also you can schedule it because each and every time you do not manually set up each and every data so you have to schedule it plus sign and select the source that will be the google sheet and frequency you have to add it with your choice every 24 hours that will be the okay i think you have to add in your time zone and select the time you can select the time here so you can see that we are perfectly set up google ads offline conversion tracking but now you can take a decision you need to one time set up or you are spending money again and again for crm platform that is your choice you can set up google ads conversion tracking with one time cost so i hope you can understand how can set up google ads offline conversion tracking easily i will see you in the next video with a new topic thank you take care bye bye